and I stay under you fighting for some storming on you chumps. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry about that, my phone fell, but instead of editing now, I'm just going to keep moving. But today I'm going to be talking about how to start a YouTube channel. Um, it's a pretty simple step. It's not as hard as people may make it seem. The first thing you have to do is you have to figure out what your talent is or what is your one special ability that could gain you popularity on YouTube. Um, if you're a guy, you may be doing prank videos, prank calls. Uh, reviews, full reviews, or even gaming. You can start a gaming channel. If you're a female, you can do uh, the tags, like the TMI tag. You can do life hacks, uh, do it yourselves, uh, go with me. You can do make. Why does my phone keep falling? This is why I need a tripod. You can do makeup tutorials. You could do a lot of stuff. Hair tutorials, hauls, like it's a lot you can do. There's a lot of possibilities. But you have to figure out like what is your one thing that you're really good at or that you love to do. Then you start making videos about that. Um, as far as the initial process to like to really start your YouTube channel, just in case you didn't know, you have to first sign on with an account with uh, Google. I, to me, it's just simple to use Gmail. I'm not sure if you can use any other emails to do that. Then you just start making your videos or your channels. You have to figure out what editing software you're going to use. Some people use iMovie. Some do, people use um, Adobe Premiere. Some people use Final Cut Pro. You can. There are also a lot of phone apps that you can use. I use Pocket Video to edit my videos, which is a really good phone app. It all depends on you know what software you want to use. If you have a Mac computer or a Windows computer, that makes a difference. You have to also have to make sure. You have the right uh, equipment. Like I'm recording on my iPhone right now. If you have a phone, you can record on your phone, or you can have like a DSLR camera, or you can record on your laptop or your iPad. Like there are so many possibilities that you re can record on. So make sure you have the right equipment and you have the right software, and just plan out your ideas that you want to start to do your videos on. Some people get notepads and write it out. I don't do that. I just. When a video comes up in my head, I just think about it for a minute, then I just do the video. I don't really like write things out or do anything. Like once the idea pops up, pop pops in my head, I just do a video about it. So that's just how it works. Some people plan videos out for like a month in advance or a week in advance. You have to find out what works for you. That works for me. To me, I just go on the spot. If a video pops in my head, I just go out and I just do the video. Um when you, and then after that, once you find out what kind of video you want to use, you got your equipment, you got your software, um, then you post your video. The first time I posted a video, it was very scary. <laughs> the reason why is because when you post a video online, millions of people can watch it. People across the world can watch it. From people in Paris, Africa, you know, all across the U.S. Millions of people can watch your video. That's the scary part about it. So when I first posted my first video, it was kind of scary. But now I've been using YouTube on and off for since 2012, almost four years now. So I've gotten used used to it. And making YouTube videos is so much fun because you can actually help people out across the world. And you can start to get a following on here. Also, if you want to gain popularity, first I would say start with your phone. Oh, if my phone doesn't keep still. When you're starting your YouTube channel, stay still. All right. This is why I need a tripod. <laughs> Um, but when you're starting your YouTube channel, make sure you go to your friends and family first. That's what I did. I told all the people at work and I told all my friends that I was shooting a YouTube channel. And I asked them for their support. Not everyone will support you though, but first go to your friends and family. To me, I did people at work or you can do people at school. Tell them you're starting a YouTube channel and see if they support you and tell them you'll support them back. So that's the way you can get... I'm going to have to hold my phone. Uh, that's getting on my nerves. <laughs> but... That way, um, you can get a couple of subscribers in. It's more to having, you know, just none or zero. And I feel like people are more subscribed if they see that you already have a couple of people subscribing to you. They more more than likely they will, you know, uh, start to they will hit the subscribe button. And just you know, just be yourself when you're doing the videos. Don't try to be like anybody else or act like another YouTuber that you see that's famous. So you want to copy everything they do. 
or just like create your own style, you know, create your own platform, just you know, create your own material. When I say that you can't do pranks, you can do other videos that you've seen other YouTubers do, but make sure you do it in your own style. Don't copy it, you know, every single thing they do. Just do it in your own way so that you can put your own taste on it so that people will know you for your videos and you won't get noticed as the person who copies everybody else's videos. You know, you know what I mean? Like I said, there are different categories you can do on YouTube. From beauty, gaming, pranks, reviews, the challenges. There's so much you can do on YouTube. So you must have confidence on yourself. Make sure you have confidence. To me, I like being in front of the camera. It's really fun for me. I, I, I just love being in front of the camera. It's super fun. I love making videos. I love, you know, getting comments and likes and everything. You even may get dislikes, but that's a part of YouTube. There's nothing you can do about it. I know some people are camera shy or whatever, but like I said, it just takes a while to get used to it. You have to open up a little bit. Um, like I said, it, it's going to take a while, and like none of the YouTubers who are big right now, they gain, you know, popularity overnight. You know, it takes time. So your first couple of months, you may not get the views you want. You may not have the subscribers you want, but after a while, like hard work does really pay off, and after a while, after you put your time and effort in, then you'll start to you start to get rewarded for all your all the things that you put into YouTube, you know, and hopefully, eventually, you can get you know partnered so that you can start actually making money for the videos you do. Because you know it takes money to go out and buy props and stuff for the videos you're doing. So it's nice that you can get some of that money back once you reach that point and you get partnered. Like starting a YouTube channel, it really isn't that hard. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I respond to all comments generally within 24 hours. Um, or if you have any questions, or if you, you need help starting a YouTube channel, you don't know what to start your YouTube channel on, but like I said, just do what, do what you're comfortable with. That's all you have to do. Don't try to be anybody else. You know, be yourself. Make sure you have the right equipment, even the, the basic equipment. Like I don't even have an expensive equipment. Like, you can use your phone to record videos. You don't need, like, an expensive $1,000 camera or anything. You can use your phone, your iPad. Just try to find some software to edit your videos. When I first did videos, and I've gotten a lot of better. If you go back and watch my earlier videos that I did four years ago and to now, I've really grown a lot with my videos. It takes a while. Like, I didn't have the best equipment or the best software either, but you just... You have to make, you know, use with it. Like, before, I, I didn't used to edit my videos. Like, whatever happened just happened. And that's just how it went. You have to, you know, just try to make a name for yourself on YouTube. That's all you have to do. Like I said, it takes time. You have to make sure you promote yourself. Tell people about your channel. And try to see if you can find other smaller YouTubers who will help you out. And just say, hey, if you subscribe to me or I'll subscribe to you back. Or, hey, maybe we can do a collaboration. You know, we all have to work together because we all, you know... Want our channels to succeed and be successful. That's why we put in this hard work and doing these videos, which really aren't easy all the time to do. And it takes sometimes it can take forever to upload a video. So you're putting a lot of hard work in. So you know you really want to, your efforts to really pay off. So like I said, start a YouTube channel. It really isn't that hard. You just have to find what you're passionate about. Whatever you're passionate about, you should start doing videos on that. And then after that, the success should follow after that. And just. Don't when you do if you do reach that spotlight and you and you do get the fame or everything from YouTube after starting a YouTube channel, just don't remember where you started from. Don't get you get like a million subscribers and you wanna start acting like I don't know how to where to say it, but you wanna start looking down on people or I don't wanna say you wanna act bougie. I almost wanna say that word, but don't you know, look down at anybody because remember, you once were a small YouTube channel. But how about the other small YouTube channels? Just help people out. We should all help each other out that way, everybody can get success, you know. But just remember that if you ever do get famous and you're watching my video, make sure you help out other small YouTubers. But like I said, if you have any questions or you need advice or anything or starting a YouTube channel, you still don't know where to go, you're still stuck at step one. You can leave comments down below and I'll get back to you on this channel. Um. I do my videos, there's a mixed variety. I do vlogs, I do challenges, I do reviews, I, I give advice. Like I said, there's so many topics on YouTube that you can do that you should be able to find one category that you should be able to fit in and you should find that will be very successful to you and good. You may have to rebrand your channel like I did. I started off doing wrestling videos, but now I'm doing totally different videos. So you have to find out what works for you. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe. 
comment, and like.